<laughs> What's up, Stays? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Woo! Nick. And I'm Jarek. Cheesy Keith. Cheesy Woo. Keith in the building. You know the vibes, yo. Hashtag Cheesy Keith. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why y'all here, man. Stray why? Kids, District why don't 9. Don't just leave me pro alone, man. So sorry. <laughs> um, no long talk, man. Let's let's jump right into this, man. How do we feel about Stray District Kids here? Nine. Like the movie? The movie called District gotcha. Nine. SOS. <laughs> This is 2018, so this ain't like you giving me PTSD. Division. Oh, hey, throw that, throw that hip hop shit in here. Look at, hey, hey, hey. It's a bus, not a train. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Kids in the building. It's like. Don't hurt him, Felix. Don't hurt him. This feel like pre debut shit. This this feel a little. They, they, look, they, they, they look, look young. They look. They look a little young on here. This was good, man. I was feeling the whole District 9. We're in the same asylum or prison and all white. And it's, you know, we're confined and stripped down. And then when we get on the bus, we put our clothes on with vibrant, with vibrant colors. And now we're out and about now. When we're just drop. It's anarchy. When 2018, drop. I think. Yes. Those, those rappers... They needed to pay some bills because they ran. When I tell you this was the rapper's <laughs> song, 
I mean that because them flows were so so well done and so presented. You know when someone's rapping really fast, you're like, ah. Uh. You know, Not the rapidity like, raps. The rapidity oh, my, oh, we get it. You can rap fast. Congratulations. Here, it was just like the beat was so intense and so, uh, so high in energy that it called for that kind of cadence and flow. So I really appreciate them for that. The beat was stellar. Video was okay. I liked the choreo. I liked it when they started choreo. Uh, they started dancing on the water, the H two O. That was pretty cool. Um, the fits was okay. I don't know something about buses and trains. Just I'm. Just, it's not doing it for me. The buses and the trains. You know, this is me. I guess. It's very interesting, Keith. This is their debut song. Wow, that makes sense. This is their debut song. What a that way to sense. debut. This uh, is, what this, label this, are they in? JYP. Same as uh, Day6. Um, that makes sense. And it's very interesting. And like I said, me jokingly talking about the whole concept of them, like, you know, leaving all white and then obviously putting so on clothes and bellin'. Makes sense. Said, yeah. Which is crazy because they arguably have the best, uh, like, album of the year and shit. Mm -hmm. Numbers would suggest within, like, the last five years, mm. they always top five doing everything. Um, and, I mean, I think you can make, honestly, I really think you can make an argument for, like, cleanest rap line. Yeah, no, nah, they rap line is uh, super clean. I know you said the rappers carried. I actually do like the, the harmonies and certain things the vocalists were doing on here. Um all that, yeah, say, you like that, but see, you like that high, high, um, that falsetto. When those falsettos always peek in and kind of mm -hmm. hit you with either a pre-chorus or like in it. Um, I am a sucker for that. I do. I would like to see more of the choreography too, because I feel like they, uh, if anything, was I'm tamed. Scared, bro. Oh, oh, you some amount of like a dance practice. Yeah. Not, not so much, and and I hate that that we feel that way. I think their choreo is fire. Their choreo it's, it's is just, fire. It's but just it's, it's definitely tailored to be in a music video as opposed to just kind of standalone watched. Yeah, and I, and I haven't liked. Well, I haven't liked. I told you once the sound isn't right in a certain dance practice and everything, chicken. Because I swear, production. sound is just like film. Where uh, you ever had like a shitty bootleg and the uh, audio was crystal clear, um, so you kind of can sit through that. <laughs> You can't sit through a sound shitty Bro, bootleg. I'll, I'll even do you one better. <laughs> I could sit through a bootleg with, with crispy sound and maybe shit visuals, then go to a movie theater mm -hmm. when it, and watch a movie that's supposed to be cranked up. Like, what if we went to go see Top Gun and the, and the audio was like fucking mid? They put it on five instead of like on eight or nine or ten, like it should be. It'll fucking ruin your experience. Can you imagine going to Jurassic Park and then not feeling the fucking chair vibrate when a nigga walk around? Like, like this shit is no. Turn that shit up, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the experience. I'm not here for the fucking popcorn. All that to say, sound is very important. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm reading the Jones, and it's funny because, like I said, we were talk, I was talking about Elevator before. It Fuck was saying um, God Tear song. Um, I think that's one of the toughest pre-debut songs ever um, in the K world. I'll that's go that sense. for. Um, but some people consider some people was considering that their first song and stuff. But it's a, you know. I don't. Uh, pre debut. It's almost like the new jeans situation. We're um about new jeans? Damn. I love new jeans. Too. Um we like all these <laughs> well, these ones in particular. I love new jeans. I love trick kids. Um, I love it's cool. I like this man. I mean, Felix looks like a fucking baby, bro. Yeah, he looks so well clean shaved. I don't everything like looks it. so like Well th then again, I don't I think part of his aesthetic is never growing facial hair. I cannot imagine Felix with a beard or a mustache. Yeah. Well but for not clean shaved. He's the cut and everything looks oh, so yeah, yeah. like Tame. Yeah, like everything here is like a lot more tame for them as far as like, like you said, by the time you get the maniac and shit, everyone is just doing whatever like except they, for they Bang, want to. Yeah, except shit. for Chang Bang. His hair always looks kind of, kind of edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like, this is not they schoolboy era, but this definitely looks like clean cut. Mm -hmm. Han era always got the pretty shit. boy, fluffy, um, bowl cut. Yeah, like if some of them were filling out for like job interviews, I'm sure some of them might get it. And it's the, like you look like a nice, handsome young man. Mm -hmm. How's your customer service? Yeah, man, but this was clean, man. Anything else from there? 
Um, no, it's I, a great I thought, debut. Thought the song was good. Um, definitely a good debut. I love the concept of it, trying to escape, you know, the bubble and you know, break out and you know, get to your own your own lane, your own area. Like this is my area. Basically, is what they're saying in the video. Like fuck off. Um, <laughs> like get out of here. This is this is where we dwell. Um, for a first song, I mean, it definitely makes a statement. Uh, it's definitely gritty. You know, the video, the the color scale is kind of grayed down or monotoned out a little bit in some areas. Kind of give the dystopian vibe, uh, but all in all, this is this is a good jaunt. I mean, you know, they definitely, even from the beginning, never came lame, as far as from a musical standpoint. Um, yeah, they're honestly like one of my favorite groups. Like they're just, I don't, I can't think of too many songs of Stray Kids that I don't fuck with. Well, that's a good joint, man. Um. Yeah, man, jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all feel about this. Tell us where y'all have this debut placed down at. Um, tell us where y'all rank this at. And tell us if y'all like the rock elements in this. Um, but, you know, other than that, we love you guys. Definitely going to holler at y'all. Peace. Yes.